Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to take screenshots in Windows 10. Now there's quite a few ways of going about taking screenshots and I wanted to cover some of these in this video. Now this is quite basic video but there's quite a few people that always have some pretty poor screenshots when I'm doing some tech support on Discord and trying to help them fix a problem. They take uh, really poor photos or screenshots and uh, they don't know how to use it. So let's go ahead and show people how they can go ahead and do this. Now, this is probably a little bit basic for a lot of people, but I use this on a daily basis. Now I use tools like Snagit and things like that, which I'll show you in a second, but let's go through some of the options which you have available inside Windows itself. So we've got the print screen button on the keyboard here. And when you push that once, you can open up Paint by typing Paint inside there. And this will open up the paint uh, application here and you can click on paste and it will give you the wallpaper here which I've just took a screenshot of my desktop. Now also you get some options available which is crop, resize and rotate and you've got some other things here like pencil, uh, the bucket tool which is your fill tool, your text and stuff like that. So if you wanted to add text here you can add some text in and uh, you know things like that you can see it there you can change color on that as well and bits like that okay you can also undo all this as well by hitting the undo and there's a rubber here magnifying glass and there's a bunch of other little uh, things here like so so you've got your selections here which you can do it's pretty basic but also if you wanted to you can use the edit paint 3d once you go in here you can say uh, don't not save and this will open up this and there you go we've got now the screen here now it's a little bit more advanced and it gives you a little bit more to do inside here so you've got your paintbrush the same thing pencil pen all that sort of stuff you see there so you've got crowns you've got your rubber and also you've got your brush here. So you've got a little bit more uh, available to you. And you can also crop and do the magic selection and stuff like that, okay, from here. So if you wanna use something like this, you can do, and it's built into Windows, which uh, makes it a really easy way of taking snapshots. You've got your effects and stuff like that. I'm not gonna to go too far into it, but there's quite a lot of stuff you can actually do here. and. As you can see here, go back to stickers. You've got some stickers on here as well, which you can add in. And there's loads of different types here. So that's the uh, two options, which are Paint and Paint 3D, which are built into Windows 10. Now, if you wanted to do something like a, a, a precise type of screenshot, say for instance, let's close this off. So let's take a look at the uh, snipping tool here. So we're gonna open up the snipping tool. Now this is built into Windows and this has sort of become a bit obsolete because they've got a newer version of this now which is built into Windows. So how this works is it allows you to take, say for instance, a snippet of whatever you're trying to do here. So you can see I've got this here. I can move this to one side here, click new, and we can take a snippet of this area here. And it could be a bit more precise, but there you go. So you've got now a snippet of that area, which you can then show that person. And you can see here as well, we've got some options. So you've got your blue pen, red pen, and some other bits here. And you can also take this straight into Paint 3D as well and finish it off inside there because this is quite basic uh, to what you get here. You don't really get much options to do stuff but if you wanted to you could then transfer this into there which will then bring it into here which gives it a nice little uh, finishing you can crop it and tidy it up and you can add in some shapes and things like that so if you needed to add shapes in there you can do there's got loads of little shapes here like so i'm not going to be adding those in but you get the general idea so you've got effects and also stickers these are all your stickers here so if you needed to add some stickers in or, or stuff like that, you can, you can add more in there. If you've got, got more, you can add stuff in, maybe arrows and stuff like that and things like that. So yeah, 
we're not going to be adding rainbows in but you'll get the general idea how that works so you can mess around with this you've got your undo paste history and all this other stuff here which we've just gone through so that's how you can then take snippets of that that is also which I wanted to show you here close this off so let's go into the next section which is I'm going to type snip in here and this is the new snip and sketch which comes with Windows 10 as well so this is the updated version so if you wanted to do new you can do and you can highlight this and then put this into snip and sketch you can see I've just gone a bit over here but you can tidy that up if you wanted to with their tool here with their cropping tool so when you click on this you can just bring that in and get it right on the money and then of course click the tick and that's now tidied up and if it's not quite there again you can continue doing that until you get it exactly how you want it once you've got that done you've got some options available to you so if you wanted to highlight something here you've got your highlighting uh, one here which allow you to go highlight and you can make that a different color which allows you to change that hub and this is your highlighter and again we've got ruler crop eraser so if you wanted to erase it you can erase it and again you've got some really basic sort of tools here but this is basic that's built into windows and I find it it's okay for quick snippets that I need to do but if I want something a bit more you know in depth then I'm gonna to have to buy something uh, which I have done which I've got uh, Snagit which I find a much better and more powerful tool now Snagit is living down here you'll see uh, it normally comes up down here when you're using it so let me just show you Snagit so this is the Snagit tool here and you may be thinking that looks pretty basic but it's a very powerful tool and it's great for tutorials and other types of stuff you can record the screen I can make a video here I can click video I can make a little caption of video here images and stuff like that so you've got a much more powerful tool here now it's not just this this is the actual caption uh, you've got the editor as well which I'll show you you've got loads of good stuff inside here which you can do so let me just go ahead and capture uh, a screen here you can, I'm not going to do a video I'll just do it quickly do say for instance an image so if I do capture it will give me this little cross on the screen here which I can move about so I can capture whatever I needed to do so if I needed to do for instance just come out of that a sec let me open this up and then capture this now you can use like I said in here shortcuts and stuff like that that's what you want to do you want to be able to use a shortcut here if you want to get this out of the way you can do but as soon as you push uh, capture this will move out of the way anyway so let me just uh, capture that it automatically goes right around it and then it will take you inside here and then of course we can go full screen here now from here you can do whatever you like so if you wanted to tell someone to do something here as in a tutorial you can do you can see we've got plenty of options up here which is way more than what you would have which is built into Windows so if you wanted to do say for instance a numbered sequence of stuff you can do and you can make these a bit smaller and tell them to click on desktop and then you might want to do a number two and then go to here and then tell them to go here or whatever it may be and then of course you've got your arrows which you can then have as an arrow pointing down and stuff like that you've also got different colored arrows different shapes and sizes you can change all this stuff here to whatever you like and then you've got the text which you can then add in some text here as well which you can see it's a lot more better you can change the size of it to whatever size you want and reshape it you can change the type of font and drop that in there you've also got some presets up here so if you wanted to use those you can do these fonts up here you can just click on these and it will change those to whatever you want here and, and there you go so let me just quickly highlight that if I want to do yellow I can do yellow do red and so on so that is the text bit there you've got call outs 
now you can see with these you've got much nicer arrows here and you can add some text in to make it look more professional as well and you've got boxes speech bubbles here as well where you can add stuff in and I'm sort of skipping over this a little bit because there's quite a lot more stuff inside here which you can do I'm just showing you uh, the basics of this particular program you've got your stamp tool and stamp tools allow you to do like circles squares and other things like that shapes all sorts of stuff you can change the opacity opacity to those as well if you want full opacity you can do um, your stamps up here as well depending on what you're trying to do you can have your own uh, stamps like these out or you can use the built-in ones like this sort of stuff so if you wanted to add those in very easy to do and there's loads of them inside there you can download more as well which makes tutorials and other things a lot more easier you've got your fill tool which means you can fill the color and change that as well got your undo on there you've got your eyedropper so you want to pick that color you can do whatever color you want to pick you could your move tool and also your selection tool as well like so loads of stuff inside here blur so if you wanted to blur something out maybe you've got an address on there or something like that you can blur that straight out and of course you've got a load of other stuff like magic wand crop uh, cut out and things like that so you can see here let me just show you this bit here which I wanted to show you so you've got your highlighting tool you've got your eraser tool your magnifier as well you've also got your stickers on here as well so if you was doing some sort of um, presentation here you can do uh, stickers on here as well there's loads of stuff on this tool it's a very powerful piece of kit you can also customize your toolbar so for instance up here if you use certain ones more often you can add them in and uh, basically add them up the top to make it easier to find so you don't have to go hunting for them you've got your edges and effects here which is awesome so for instance if you wanted to do edges here you can add those in and uh, basically your edges is to change the edge of the actual um, image itself so if I open up effects down the bottom here and uh, you can see we've got border you can add a border to it change the border color you can add the width to that as well you can see it's gone big met now and again you can change the color to this uh, whatever for whatever you like so for instance white and apply that and then also you've got your other edges which is really nice you can add like different effects and you've got a bunch of them up here you can have a little look at what you want to do to add some real nice style to it so if you're doing tutorials or on your website they will look absolutely awesome once you've finished so you can add that to there and you can see it's made a nice turnover edge to that again if you want to make it a bit more torn edge you can do that as well and then also capture info and a bunch of other things like page curl shadow uh, filters adjustment color and and stuff like that so you can do a lot of stuff here you can even put your logo in here and other bits and pieces as well so that is the main quick overlook if you want to see more of this sort of tool let me know in the comment section below and i'll make some proper tutorial on how to do a, a tutorial so you can put it on your website and stuff like that or make some sort of presentations with them it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty awesome it really is you can see it just it's got so many features available and you can save this and you're pretty much good to go so let me quickly just show you the video side so you may be wondering you can do your webcam here you can have a video with webcam as well so let me just do a capture here so you can choose the side that you size your of video that you want to capture or you can do the full screen 
So let me just do the full screen. And what will happen is you'll get this. Let me try and drag this over here. There's this little tool here, uh, which allows you to record the screen audio. You can see my audio coming through here. And when you push record, it will start giving you the countdown. And then it's now recording. So whatever I do here will be recorded. So we can open this up, do reg edit, and you know, just the general stuff. And this will record all of this here. Very simple and easy to do. Let me just stop that and push stop. And of course that's now give us a video, a quick video inside here. And then it's now recorded. And recorded the audio. very quick and easy to do as you can see there and of course uh, this means that you'll be able to show people something very quickly of what the problem is and and things like that so it's a very powerful tool for that type of thing and this is just Snagit itself so this is not um, Camtasia uh, Studio this is uh, Snagit and uh, very powerful and you can save this as well here also you've got your audio you can mute the audio And of course you can share this to other platforms here you can got, save it uh, to the FTP and you've also got YouTube Twitter and you can go over to Camtasia with it and do some more editing on there so if you wanted to do that you can click Camtasia and of course from there it'll open up Camtasia here is Camtasia it's now dropped that inside Camtasia for us and then from there we can then start to add in more stuff and more effects so if you wanted to you could start to add in other effects from here so if I wanted to add say for instance this I could drag that onto there and it will add that into that video there if you look here it's added it into that cool feature there so yeah it's got plenty of scope for what you want to do with this type of stuff you've got your animations you've got your behavior here if you wanted to add in some transitions here now i can uh, do bubble still do speech bubbles i can move this around so if i wanted to do that i can add this in like so and you can add in whatever you like here and this will be on that video and you just render the video out if i wanted to blur something out if i've left say an address on there my address you can add in uh, some blurring as well um, whatever you like to do so yeah you can do whatever you like here there's also these animations here which will then add an animation here will be recorded. there you go so, you so you can add in keys if you want to tell someone to push certain keys on the keyboard you can do that as well and of course uh, pretty decent and this blur bit is just blurring it out you can see here so I needed to blur something out maybe there's a an image there of something and you don't want them to see that you can then blur that part out of the video and of course we've got some other bits and pieces here you can add whatever you like in but yeah that's basically it and you can do a voiceover on here as well if I needed to wipe all this audio out I can speed things up you can add in clip speeds and you can also cut and chop stuff out add effects whatever you like inside here so yeah that is a must have better kit for me anyway that's going to be about it for this video that's basically how you can take screenshots and capture your screen and also show tutorials or maybe you just want to make presentations and stuff like that you can use Snagit for that and also snipping tool and also uh, the other version of windows which is the newer version uh, you can use those they're a bit basic but if you're just looking for quick snipping uh, sort of situations where you want, just want to snip something you can do that but obviously Snagit is a much more powerful option Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Thanks again for watching.
Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.